critical condition after a severe beating. This small city would kill itself as She's gonna kill every single one of us. Hi guys, my name is Quincy Gardner and that was a little fake trailer I put together for this tutorial. Um, so today we're going to talk about the Roto Brush tool. Uh, it's one tool in After Effects I feel a lot of people don't take advantage of, but I still feel it has its uses. Obviously it's not going to take the place of uh, regular rotoscoping because you know you have, obviously you have more control or in this case I could have keyed the footage but I decided to just use Roto Brush tool just for the heck of it to see what kind of results I came up with. And so this footage right here, there was actually some uh, stock footage that I found uh, actor actor in front of a green screen. So I wanted to use this for tutorial purposes. Uh, so we're just going to get right into it. The very first thing I want to do, though, is I want to mask out the flag. Uh, and so we're going to get rid of the flag. And um, yeah, I'll just speed through this so you guys won't have to sit here and watch me keep the flag all day. All right, after we're done uh, handling after we're done handling the flag, you want to go up to the rotor brush tool it's beside the eraser. Uh, next, what you want to do is you want to click, you want to make an outline around your actress or whatever you're trying to roto out. Uh, in our case, though, it's an actor. Uh, also, um, I will put a link to the footage uh, in the description of this video so you guys can also do it yourself and test it out. And also, um, I will actually put the city, uh, the city, um, <clears throat> Uh, background into the description of this video also. Sorry about that. It's the first time I'm actually doing a voiceover for one of the videos instead of a live video while I'm working and so, uh, but yeah, another we're at another spot so we're actually going to fast forward because I'm sure you guys don't want to see uh, me rendering the whole time. Alright, so now we're freezing our frames after we're done uh, ruddling out uh, and so I just, right now I'm just refining uh, my edges. I'm just turning the reduce chatter up to 100% uh, and messing around with the contrast. I'm going to bring the contrast down to 25%. Uh, so it can kind of, um, I, I want to keep the highlights, I want to keep the detail in the hair without just cutting it off. And so I'm putting up the, sh uh, bringing down the contrast, bringing up shift edge and feathering it a little bit. And so now we kind of have like this halo glow. But uh, we're not done with the footage yet. Um, after we're done, uh, as you might notice, we have a lot of green spill and green still on the outside and are closed. And so uh, to, to fix that, we're just going to pre-comp the layer, put it in a new comp. We're just going to call it close up CU. Uh, and you guessed it. We're going to use key light, uh, another tool that's inside After Effects. Uh, I wanted to make sure that you guys could actually do this without having to go out and look for other third party software. So what we're going to do is just put it to the edge of the and get a piece of the green uh, but obviously you're not done yet so we're gonna go to combine mat we're gonna go to screen mat uh, all we're gonna do is just bring in our uh, make the whole uh, mat white and so we're gonna bring down our clip white until we have a complete uh, white mat uh, and then we would we'll be done uh, with our key so we're just gonna go down and click on final result and see what we have so there we have a perfect key and so now we don't have to deal with uh, taking out the tracking markers or anything like that next we're gonna take our footage our uh, I'm sorry our background photo that uh, I got from Flickr Creative Commons so don't worry about it. don't worry about it uh, but yeah so the next thing we want to do is uh, with this actually solved uh, the camera move because uh, the original footage actually has a camera move uh, which is re reason why it has uh, tracking marks in the footage and so I had to use a software called Buju to actually uh, you know match the camera move in 3d space and so after I was done with that uh, I actually brought in my 3d data right back in and uh, made the picture a 3d layer and so as soon as I've adjusted my picture and rendered out the frames we have our scene where it looks like she's in an actual city and of course we can adjust it like that though but I uh, hope you guys found this tutorial somewhat useful I wanted to shorten it up because I know some of my other tutorials are rather long and could be quite boring so I wanted to shorten this up a little bit just give you guys just you know straight to the point but uh, anyways hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and until next time I'll talk to you guys later